All right, guys. So it's alive again. <laughs> the 12 volt AC power supply, which, like I said, inside is just a transformer, and uh, I found the casing to it. Um, just did some testing with it. Uh, so yeah, it should be able to do you know 2,000 milliamps just fine. I did notice it does get warm. Um, maybe I'll throw an NXT or RCX temperature sensor in there and just see uh, <laughs> what it tells me and finally use one of those temperature sensors because I've never really used it for much. So here we can see this is voltage 13.2 volts AC and boy this is going to be tough. <laughs> Um, a little less than half an amp uh, AC usage right now. Um, this guy I built. I had a I keep a box of stuff I get from Pick a Brick just randomly and uh, <laughs> mock that up real quick. So right now it is powering an RCX, which isn't doing anything right now. Both of these NXTs with their batteries, the Dacta Control Lab this NXT and this NXT is actually plugged in it's one of the newer white batteries so it's got a totally different plug I believe it's a DC input if I'm not mistaken so right now I've got these both set up to where touch sensor one goes to motor one two two three three for both of them and then I've got a motor on each one and the touch sensors are going to be actuated by this guy. And this is my relay board um, for using a dock to control lab to control these. Now, why would one want to do this? And this is why. I just love this software. I think it's so cool. You can, um, you might have seen it in my train video where I control the train layout with it. And you could just line up all the switches along. Like, I mean, this is, I just threw this up here. Like, this is, um, you know, you can just make your own kind of control panel however you want with buttons and these can go through subroutines or go through different things. So this subroutine is just um, just kind of a test. It runs the motor for when it says five, that's actually 50 uh, um, milliseconds. And uh, so I can hit this and it's going to go through and switch all of these. So we'll hit it. Um, I don't know if you caught that or not, <laughs> but it goes through and flips one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, these are going to be one, two, three, and uh, five, six, seven. <laughs> I had to think about it for a second. Um, so this will this will be a lot of fun. And then these two control these while they only have three motors, they're not going to be directly controlling motors like this. This is just um, really testing the. Um, power supply more than anything because like even with all this going with all motors um all the motors here um well let's try it so one two three four five six hit run all three of these are running not even an amp and again i'm not really sure how these um, NXT batteries work, how much they pull when they're charging, how much they pull when, um, I just don't know. But um, they're what I'm gonna be using, so that it's fine. This is a real world application to kind of test things. And I'm really happy with it. Um, you know, it, it just barely uses that much. And I have tried, I tried in my last vlog, I had, um, hooked up a multimeter I wasn't really sure how accurate it was I, I was actually using this craftsman for the, the amps AC but I brought in three flukes <laughs> um, this one's actually an automotive meter I got at a pawn shop but um, I brought in a, a much more high dollar fluke from work and my other fluke from my work vehicle and um, they all seem to read about the same so I'm I'm, I'm good with this being accurate um, in that video I was comparing it against a cheap um, panel mount uh, and it was when I was using DC current um, but hopefully hopefully this is about right <laughs> uh, you may have also noticed these two um, this is gonna show up horrible on, on 
this, sorry about that, but uh, those are going to both of these NXTs. So you can see they're not doing so good on the screen front. <laughs> But um, that's why I love uh, the Lego community and the software they provide. So this is next screen. I'll see if I can link it below. It's actually a part of BrickX Command Center, but um, it was released as a standalone executable if you want to use it. Um, so the idea here is uh, you got um, these NXTs can communicate with these Bluetooth, I guess. I've actually never done that before, but I'm assuming I can. And from there, these guys can have the, um, well, let me see exactly what it is. High Technic Infrared Link. Um, so I have a, a good bit of um, High Technic sensors. I want a lot, and it basically had one of each, and then a couple had duplicates. Like, like these, maybe. I might have purchased one on my own. Um, so those can uh, transmit to, like, power functions receivers and things like that. Um, and I've also got some of the other sensors. I don't know if it's a different sensor to communicate with RCX. It's, it's been a while since I've done any of this. It's been going on five years. But um, that's what all this is about. Uh, really, more than anything, I just enjoy hooking different things together. <laughs> if that isn't immediately obvious um, by everything on the table and anything else you've seen me do, I just love to, to hook a bunch of stuff together and make something happen. And um, if I have triggered anyone, these blue connectors right here, they're going to be white. I actually ordered white from eBay probably three years ago. Um, they never showed up and I had to, or I don't even think they ever shipped. But um, <laughs> so that's why they're not white because I, I, it matters to me. I like the colors to match. Um, even when it doesn't really matter. So that's about it. Um, so that's a sneak peek at the relay board and an update to the power supply. I'm happy with it. I don't think I'm going to do any upgrades to it. I was thinking about getting a bigger transformer, but who cares, I guess, unless a, a bigger transformer will be, will run cooler. Um, that'll be the next thing to kind of look into. Um, if I can do some kind of heat sink or a fan or, um, you know, if you have any ideas, uh, drop them in the comments below because I'm, I really like this thing. I love having it on the desk and just flipping it on and, um, you know, testing NXTs or RCXs or anything like that. Because like this RCX, you can watch, watch the lights. That's with uh, external power and that's without, but that's only because, I mean, these are just running, um, uh, what are they, NIMH um, rechargeables, so that's why the voltage isn't great, it's not going to give much power, but it'll keep that uh, firmware installed on there, and I can just recharge them later, um, and always have, uh, keep the firmware on there and not have to worry about that. You can also just keep them plugged in, um, if I wanted to use this power supply and have like a line of RCXs, if I was using 4 or 5, it had specific programs on there, but wasn't was putting the project down for a while. I could just plug them all into something like that or use um, one of the splitter cables that I've uh, brought up in other videos to, oh, let's see if we can see it. Uh, okay, it's kind of, it's back there a little ways. Okay, I got too much stuff in the way. <laughs> I've shown it before, um, but it's just a splitter that goes from you know, it'll take one of these and this will plug into it and then it'll have like four of those plugs coming out so you could that'd be a good use for it all right i'm really starting to ramble here so i hope you enjoyed this um whatever this is <laughs> at this point I'm, I'm just uploading stuff like you know this is who i am this is what i'm doing um i'm sure somebody will find it interesting and i always learn a lot um even just a simple blog I learn, or vlog i learn a little bit about audio and video and lighting and all that kind of stuff so that's why I keep doing this. So thanks for coming along for the ride.